Soup is as old as cooking itself. Its appeal is detailed in the Old Testament, where Jacob trades an inheritance for a simple pot of lentil soup. Today, you don't have to sacrifice anything for a bowl of soup. Well, perhaps just the money to buy a tin opener, which is always handy. With the invention of canning in the early 19th century, soup soon became available on demand. No need for a long cook, just open the can and reheat the contents. To manufacture lentil soup, they first make a soup base. They load measured amounts into a heated mixer, beginning with pureed garlic. The mixer's walls are steam jacketed, so the mix will cook evenly with no scorching on the bottom. The next ingredient is olive oil. They activate the steam heat and the garlic begins to sizzle. They add chopped onion. The mixing blades gently toss the ingredients as they gently fry. They blend in diced celery and cook until translucent. The next ingredients take the flavor up a level. They include chopped carrots, sea salt and spices. Balsamic vinegar adds a sweet tartness to this lentil soup base. They open a tap and filtered water pours in. As the soup begins to simmer, they add crushed and diced tomatoes. The final ingredient for this robust lentil soup base is spinach. Mixing it makes for an enticing color and as the ingredients cook, they become increasingly aromatic. Meanwhile, raw peeled potatoes are on their way to a hopper. The slats prevent the potatoes from rolling back as they make the climb. From the hopper, the potatoes slide down a chute and into a revolving drum with cross-cutting blades. The blades cut them into small cubes and spit them out. After passing a metal detector, the potato cubes land in a bin. In small cube form, they'll cook quicker. Next, lentils hard and dried surge in a steady stream onto a revolving table. The table has openings that lead to little chutes with doors. They open to funnel the lentils into cans moving on a conveyor below. This ensures that a specific amount is fed into the cans. Partially cooked green beans and the raw potato cubes now flow onto a second revolving table. The cans with the lentils have now moved into position below. The vegetables fall through the holes and into the cans. The cans with mostly uncooked ingredients now head towards a piston filler. It pipes the steaming hot vegetable soup base directly from the kettle mixer into the cans. In the hot liquid, the lentils, potatoes and green beans at the base of the can cook a little and soften up. Sensors detect the approach of the cans and cue up the lids. The lids drop one by one onto the cans below. The device then interlocks the rims of the cans and the lids for a hermetic seal. The cans move into another lane, then travel past an X-ray machine. It scans the soup inside for metal contaminants, like stray bolts or screws. If the images are clear, the cans of soup move on to a giant pressure cooker. Here the contents cook for about half an hour. Pressure cooking simulates the effect of a long simmer in a fraction of the time. The soup then cools for 10 minutes. It's now thoroughly cooked and preserved. Now on their sides with glue applied, the cans of lentil soup get their labels. They produce over 15,000 cans of lentil soup an hour at this factory. That's 105,000 cans in one shift. Now that is what I call soup on a biblical scale. <laughs>